Hello friends, we have already discussed some portion of binary genetic algorithm in presentation 2. Now, I will discuss this algorithm in detail. So, this presentation is divided into two, two parts. In first part, I will be talking about like how will you start the program and in second pro in second part i will be talking about different different operators right so let us start as we have already seen in presentation 2 the genetic algorithm is based on the theory of natural selection and evolution so what we are doing here actually it is a nature inspired algorithm because the program will map the natural phenomena of, of select natural selection and evolution right so what we have to do actually we have to map the same theory in our computer program so whatever program we are writing for genetic algorithm we always implement three functions over there so those are known as operators so three operators are selection crossover and mutation right before discussing selection crossover and mutation operator let us discuss what is genotype and what is phenotype right so when you are writing any program you have to use some encoding technique for representing your solution right so it is different from for different different types of genetic algorithm we have different types of genetic algorithm okay so we can use binary genetic algorithm we can use real parameter genetic algorithm so the style the coding style defines the genotype of solution and the actual value defines the phenotypes of the solution so for example let us see um, this example so here we want to maximize this function fx which is x upon 1 plus x and the input lies in between 0 to 3 because we are working with binary genetic algorithm okay so we have to use binary encoding right so when you write solution in the form of binary it will define the genotype and when you calculate the actual, actual value it defines the phenotype so let us suppose if we are dividing our search space into 16 solutions right what will be the coding for last solution so that will be 1111 so that is that will define genotype and the actual value will be 3 so that will define the phenotype so how genetic algorithm works so it is basically a program so it the program starts with parent population and what is parent population it is a collection of some solutions right which will be the number of solutions will be de decided by the program so we will define some operators or functions which will convert this initial set of solution into another set of solution okay so in one iteration parent population will be converted into offspring population so the programmer will decide how many times you need to repeat this process okay so if you are repeating this process n number of times so after n number of times whatever offspring solution you get that will be your final answer right so working process so in each iteration you have to apply selection crossover mutation and you have to generate off offspring population and how many times you need to repeat this process it depends on termination criteria so this process can be repeated until either the predefined number of iterations are reached so that is programmer defined so if programmer is saying that you have to repeat this process for 50 number of times so after 50 number of times whatever of spring population is generated that will be your answer right so or you can stop this process once you get a solution whose fitness is equal to what you want actually right so here we will be talking about for first iteration so in first iteration we have to create parent population right so what we have to do so because you are working with binary genetic algorithm okay so first step is you have to divide your search space into 2 to the power l number of solutions so l is what means and why you are dividing your search space into 2 to the power l number of solutions because you need to represent each solution by a binary number so if you want to get more precise result the value of l should be more so in most of the programs we use l as 40 or 100 
but since here i just want to i want i need to show how you can apply selection crossover and mutation operator right so i am dividing my search space into 64 number of solutions right so how many bits will be required to represent each solution six bit definitely and for creating parent population i will be selecting six solution right so what will be the size of initial population it will be six so binary representation required six bits and how many solution i need to select from the entire search space initially six correct so what i can do i can use a randomizer and i can pick six solutions uniformly from this search space so the, because there are 64 solutions so each solution can be represented in binary and the first solution can be represented as 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and the last one can be represented as 111111 so i will use a randomizer and select six solutions so you can see this one so first solution is 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and the last one is 100110 so after creating in initial population we need to create offspring population right and for offspring population for creating offspring population we need to select some solutions apply crossover and mutation so what we do in selection basically we promote we select those solutions which are having good fitness because those solutions will give you an idea like where you can find your global optimal solution so if a solution is good okay if you are searching another solution in nearby or that good solution the probability of getting another good solution may be very high right so we we apply selection because we want to focus on those areas which may produce optimal solution so because uh, binary solution will not give you the fitness of that function so you need to apply you, you need to convert this binary solution into actual solution right and after converting actual solution you can help you can use this function and you can you can put the value of x and you can calculate fitness of each solution right now from the from these six solution you need to pick some solutions which are having very good fitness right so you can see from the initial population you can see the fitness of 0 7 by 8 and 63 by 75 is good because the criteria is maximization and you need to select solution with greater fitness right as compared to other solutions these solutions should be selected right uh, why we want to select this solution these solutions because after selecting these solutions we will try to exploit the reason right because they may represent probable regions where your global optimal solution may lie so we apply binary tournament selection for them so binary tournament selection will be applied for six number of times which is equal to population size so every time we use a randomizer and pick two, two solutions randomly from the in, uh, initial pool and we will check the fitness of these solutions and the better one will be moved in the selected pool so this process we have to repeat for six number of times so you can see in selected population solutions with good fitness will create multiple copies and solution will bad fitness will be discarded right what selected solution will provide you selected selected solution will tell you in what region you can hope to find optimal solution for example your optimal solution may exist near to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 or this one we can search new new solutions nearby these solutions right our only exploitation is not enough you need to explore the other other areas also so how can you apply exploitation and exploration for that you need to apply crossover and mutation although many types of crossover and mutation operator are there but here we will be talking about only one point cross one one point crossover and one bit mutation okay so in next presentation we will be talking about this crossover and mutation operator right thank you very much thanks for watching